Hey guys, hi, welcome back to another vlog. You might recognize this um, backdrop because I did a video, I just filmed a video and so I figured I just use the same backdrop. Oh my gosh, is it too bright? Let me um, put the light down a little. Oh yeah, so I figured I'd just use like the same backdrop to start my vlog. So actually, I have been vlogging these past like every week because I want to update you guys on my keto journey. It is now 31 days into the keto journey. I only, I didn't, I didn't vlog week three because I kind of felt like week three and week four kind of blended together. There wasn't really many updates for you guys, honestly. I feel like my body kind of like plateaued and it's kind of just like still at the same point. I don't really see much of a difference, JT says he does, but what I do notice is that I'm fitting into like this dress that I got from Lily Silk. Um, it's like a padded silk dress. I'm just wearing like a shirt underneath it. Um, I couldn't fit it like a month or two ago. Now I can actually like put it on. So I can't see like apparent, apparent differences in like in the mirror but i can notice it in like the clothes that i'm wearing so yeah let me turn on the ac it's so hot but i didn't want to just start off with keto so yeah let me talk about keto later but i just want to give you guys a quick itch intro um update on my keto one month update there was so many things that went on like this past week that i didn't even feel like it was necessary well i couldn't vlog because it was so amazing my best friend came to visit JT and I, for our anniversary, went scuba diving. Uh, my girlfriend and I went hiking a crater. Uh, we went to like jump off like, we had like a party at a cove. We like, it was like a crazy, crazy, like epic, like mind blowing week with my friend and her boyfriend. And so I honestly like did snippets of, of filming here and there. So yeah i'm not sure how i'm gonna do this but maybe i'll like talk about it and insert stuff but anyways but we'll go from there now for those that are interested in if you're interested in all that other fun adventure stuff then um fast forward but now i'm going to talk about keto 31 days okay so you guys knew that the first like couple of weeks were like extremely hard for me because i come from a background of eating a lot of rice and noodles and week three and four was actually very very easy um i got really creative as far as like my meal plans go and i was actually not hungry anymore i never got i haven't really got hangry the electrolytes and the gut love from timmy has helped like balance my belly and also like my electrolyte balance so i felt great energy was great everything was kind of like back to normal and then my girlfriend came and on week on day 27 we decided that we were gonna have a treat day so we went out to dinner we went to this like really cool japanese hawaiian fusion restaurant we drank we had like food so we did break our keto diet one day but um we're back on it however now instead of being like um full-on sorry i'm sweating so much now instead of being full on keto, we're gonna do keto for one week and then on Friday go back to our treat days, so kind of to break it up. So I don't know if your body gets back to ketosis like that quickly, but honestly I'm just gonna follow like the keto diet, high fat, high protein, um, meal plan with some veggies and like no carbs and no sugar. I'm gonna try to do that for another 30 days and of course have that one day of like a treat day and then I'll let you know how that goes. But yeah, I just wanna continue forward because like I said, I can fit into clothes that I wasn't able to fit into. I feel like I like tightened up and the only things that helped me like kind of get through like these keto like couple of weeks, like I said, it was easier but um, I realized you can drink on keto and so I was a bit frustrated because my girlfriend came and so what made it a little bit easier was that, um, oh my gosh, I'm so hot. Hold on. Let me take off the shirt. I'll be right back. So much better. Huh. I only wore that other shirt underneath for like, because I thought it looked cute and I'm always like wearing super like sleeveless shirts and um, yeah, I just did it to film and now I'm just take. I took it off. This is just a... A padded silk dress like I said and it's cool because you don't have to wear a bra because there's padding but anyways yeah so um, I was a little frustrated because um, my, I don't drink very often but my best friend came so I was like I want to drink and then I come to find out that you can have Prosecco and like 
uh, red wine and some other like alcoholic drinks so I just had like a glass of red wine and like a Prosecco one night and it just really helped with everything also <clears throat> this is probably not healthy for me because I think sugar-free like <clears throat> caramel or like vanilla syrup is like metabolism <clears throat> excuse me is metabolism disturbing and probably not recommended on keto but in order to drink my coffee like I couldn't drink that monk fruit so I tried the sugar-free like keto sorry the sugar-free like caramel like a splash of it in my coffee obviously I'm not planning on doing that all the time just when I need coffee to make it a little palatable so there's like little tricks I probably was not full on like following the rules but to be honest like I'm not trying to be super strict about it just trying to cut out the sugars and the carbs and like to just detoxing so that is it my friends that is basically the update for week four of keto I think JT looks a lot better too like he lost a lot of his belly wet weight which men that's where they tend to gain their weight so that is it all right I'll see you later Ah, so much better. Now in my regular vlogging camera. Do you guys like this camera? The way it looks better? Or do you like the one that I was just in? Like the other one I had a light, but this is just natural lighting and it just. Do you like this camera better or the last camera better as far as like um, visually and then also like speaker wise? Because the other one is a Canon EOS R and it's a DSLR camera. It's like, you know, nice professional camera. This is just like a Canon G7X which is like a vlogging camera so it like adjusts super easy. I think it's a little more like higher than a phone Obviously way better than a phone, but like well who knows nowadays, but just let me know if you guys like the last Camera for vlogging or do you like this camera for vlogging? This one is so much better because like personally it's so like it's like um, So small, you know like Like look how small it is. It's like pink tiny and then the last one was like huge like you know I'll show you what it looks like vlogging around sorry the house is a mess I just filmed a video but like yeah so it's either like this big thing vlogging when I go places which, which my arm hurts or it's like this or can you see me it's like this small thing vlogging small big can you see it small big small big but i think like jt thinks that the other one looks better i personally i mean obviously the other one looks more professional but i feel like this one i don't know i like the way that i look better on this one okay so where shall i sit shall i sit here uh, uh, i was sitting on the floor mm, so bright the lighting is always horrible in this house yeah so i changed because i'm on my period and the other dress was a little i don't know i just didn't want to be leaking all over a silk dress but so now i'm in jeans and a t-shirt but i wanted to come here and talk about oh my gosh like <laughs> so i jt and i went scuba diving Oh my gosh for the very first time so if you don't know like scuba diving you actually have to like get certified have to take like tons of hours do like um, you know actual scuba time take a test because it's not simple I mean you have like oxygen you have like a floating device all these like different components you have to like go into the depths of the water and like you know and how to get out properly and not get like oxygen in your blood vessels I don't know too much about it but um, there is an option to certify in the place that I went. Now, I just wanted to scuba dive for beginners. This is called the Discovery. Like, if you ever come to Hawaii, I highly recommend it. It was at Aloha Scuba Dive. My instructor was Nicole. Amazing. But anyway, so with this, for people that just want to experience it without getting certified, Discover Dive, you can, this is not sponsored. This is just me and JT's anniversary gift, but I wanted to talk about it because I really think it's a thing that you should do when you go to Hawaii for sure. <laughs> like a pro 
I really wanted to do it for an anniversary, so we went. It was called Discover Dive. Basically, it's for beginners that have absolutely no experience. You can be 10 years and older. Um, but I don't know how well that will go <laughs> because um, there was two adults there that went and um, they couldn't make it to the dive. Like one had, um, one was like super seasick because we drove, we went out on a boat all the way into like a mile out and you can see Waikiki on in the distance. I'm gonna put some clips that I have. Unfortunately, when I went down underneath the water with my GoPro, I pushed like um, picture mode instead of video. So I don't have much video down. Actually, I don't have any video down there, but just pictures. So um, I kind of did a time lapse. So maybe I'll put a short time lapse in, but I did get a little footage of like going out into um, the ocean and also like some of us on the boat, but not much. I know. Not even summertime yet. I know. February. Today I do feel like it's warmer than normal. Yeah. Are you on this side of the island? Yeah, I'm, I'm right here in Waikiki. I'm staying in a condo right now. Oh yeah, I can see that being a lot of fun. Lots of diversity. I'm actually going to have all my... But anyways, you can see Waikiki from there. You're into like a few little scuba areas. They take you out. They give you like a beginning like intro. Um, one guy got seasick. Another guy had a panic attack because the breathing is so unique. Like you have to breathe through this like mask and it's not like snorkeling and you get air like into your mouth and it breathes out and you have to be like super zen about it. And someone that was on it was also a um, like they had people that were also like diving already certified and then she said she liked it because it kind of reminded her of like meditation in the water the slower you go the slower you be breathe the more mindful you are of like breathing and being calm the better experience unfortunately um that guy like had a panic attack so she had to bring him up anyways um but he was just a little bit underwater but uh like i can see how that messes with you so they give you like a short little like intro and the instructor basically connects, controls your floating, like your little CPM, or what is it called? I don't know, your floating thing to bring you down into the water. And also um, she controls your oxygen tank. So basically all you have to do is just really like float and just breathe. And then obviously clear your nose every like time we go down. Oh my gosh, it's mind blowing. So anyways, she tests each person. Then you go down with two people. It was me and JT. And then you hold onto a rope and you pull yourself down while she like deflates a little floating thing and then have a weight on. And then every two strokes down with the rope, you clear your nose. So you have to be really good at clearing your nose. And we went down 45 feet. If you exceed that, then you have to like wait three minutes at the 15 uh, foot mark and then go up so you don't get like weird you have to like I don't know I don't know the science behind it but anyways we went 45 feet down I don't want to get too long into this because it was just so 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 amazing um, highly recommend it I felt so safe like I said it's a mind game so you just have to make sure you like you know, control your breathing and just be calm my instructor was amazing I felt like a little mermaid I mean when you're at the top of the water, you can't even see the coral, but we went to the horseshoe cor coral down off of Waikiki and you could, once you started going deeper, then you could see it and it was so clear. We saw tons of fish, colorful fish. We saw like this parrotfish that was this huge. Um, fun fact, parrotfish, they eat coral and then they digest it and poop out sand. So that's how some sand is made. Ah, fun fact. Um, also, um, so basically, you know, on some other trips, they saw some sharks, but we didn't, weren't able to see it and they're docile, so you don't have to worry about that. And then we stayed down for 20 minutes. I wore a scuba outfit and I was freezing. I was like shaking, even though the water's like 70 something degrees. JT was fine. So it just depends if you're warm bodied or cold 
like leaned on the colder side i always get cold jt's it was hot and um so yeah so it was just like little mermaid like if you want to know like more details on this whole trip i think it was only 189 for we were out in the water for we were out there in the boat and the whole thing for like three hours plus but um only 20 minutes like fully underneath water but uh yeah it was just like this epic experience i felt like a little mermaid and it was just so good i can't like it was basically me dreaming i still think about it like even though it was last week and i want to get certified you guys get out yeah we just got out yeah, we yeah. Got out. so like i said if you guys have like more questions or anything let me know when we were on the boat we saw hey honey oh, okay. How's that no i'm just um talking about our scuba experience oh okay cool because i just gotta go high oh yeah um so yeah we saw i'm just on my canon g7 my vlogging camera oh cool you want to come say hi uh, let me go okay you can go poo no i'm just kidding <laughs> um yeah so we saw sea turtle when we were on the boat we saw a sea turtle like he was huge it was the biggest sea turtle i've ever seen Fun fact, they can only live up to 100. I didn't know that. Sea turtles. Um, and then we saw like a few dolphins jump in the water. I wasn't able to catch it. I just missed it. And then we saw a whale in the distance. We tried to get closer, but we only saw it from a distance. So uh, yeah, it was just it was just this like most magical experience it was only 189 per person so in total it was like four and something dollars with tax and whatever and then not including like tipping which you should i do because they are um, the captain was amazing our instructor was amazing and then there was another instructor that dealt with like people that were certified and he takes them down on like other like scuba excursions so there's like um there's like uh what's it called um sunken boats there's like shark excursion oh is there a shark excursion well i think you can see sharks but there's like a sunken boat um that you can see there's like really like you can go on excursions with them so you can like pay them and they'll take you so that was really cool i'm really really excited i definitely want to take my son who's 13 he's a he's like a fish and yeah i know this is really long but i really really wanted to share my scuba diving experience with you guys because it is out of this world and i don't even think i articulated like how much i loved it and how amazing it was it was kind of all over the place but i kind of felt like this was the only way that i could really share it because i didn't vlog it <laughs> and i couldn't get like you know but honestly like my gopro makes the water look super blue and when you're down there it looks like you're like clear and it's just crazy to be in the depths of the water and look up and there's so much water around i don't know um if you guys have ever scuba dive but just epic and um jt really liked it a lot i don't want to speak for him hopefully he'll come but yes that is it so that was my scuba diving experience and anniversary gift amazing amazing aloha guys uh hi so my girlfriend one of my best friends from texas and also she's a fellow coloradan as well she and her boyfriend um, are coming to visit well they are here and they're on vacation for seven days and they're staying with us and i wanted to show you guys her neverfull i used to have a neverfull damier um damier Griff no what is it called damier um the brown one a bean and she has it in the monogram but look how much you can stuff in it like literally i'm not gonna go into her stuff obviously she's actually canoeing the mocs but like this whole thing is so full like she has everything connected to it and oh my gosh and they're sleeping in our little fold out thing right here but like look how massive 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 this thing is and how much she can literally fit in it i mean it's in such 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 great condition i remember when um she got this several years ago in texas i think about five years ago and she wears it all the time traveling and like look how like everything's patinaed and it's all like 
I don't know, it's just so nice. And it looks like there's no stretching all the sides. Now that I'm like looking at it, I'm like, this is such a good travel bag. Even though, even though like everyone has it, honestly, like look how like durable it is. Then again, she has like the old canvas that I feel like is more durable. Is like more durable than the newer canvas. So, I mean, I don't know. Contemplating maybe getting a pretty love one. I know they're so basic, but they're such great travel bags. And I'm like looking at it, it's pretty amazing. But um, yeah, I'm gonna vlog more because she's gonna be here for a week. Tomorrow we're gonna go um, hiking at a waterfall. So I'll see you soon. No, seriously. We are literally in the middle of the jungle. Um, hope I don't fall. I know, that's so cool. Let me get a picture of you there. I've always wondered what these trees are called. They're very prevalent here. <laughs> 